What's going on, conquistadors? It is Scotty the Chunky Spaniard, and welcome back to Round Like Me, the channel where we talk about a lot of well-rounded things. It has been one week, one week since I uploaded my last video, and it's been a very, very busy week. Um, we got out of school on the 22nd and decided to just spend some time with my family and not worry about all of this. But I will admit that in this week since I've uploaded, it does feel in YouTube years like a, or days like an eternity, not, not uploading um, in, in one week's time. I hope that you all had a happy holiday season. Christmas is now over, Hanukkah's over, and we're in the middle of Kwanzaa, so happy Kwanzaa. And um, man, it's quick, people are really quick to like shut down the lights the day after Christmas. It's just like, poof, poof, poof. And um, we still have ours on till the first of the year and then I get the great task of taking everything down. But today, for this Thursday's video, we're not gonna do a Dear Parents or a Dear Students. I just wanted to talk to you, like most YouTubers talking to you, about the new year. 2017 is coming to a close. And it's been an interesting year. A very, very, in, very, very interesting year. So as the year comes to the close, to the close, to the clothes. That's the aisle you go to when you need underwear and stuff. Um, gosh, man. See, a week off and I'm so out of practice. But as this year comes to a close, as 2017 starts wrapping up, wanted to just get some thoughts out there. And this does play into the whole New Year's resolution thing. And we're going to have a different name for that. Because um, I don't like that. I don't like that name anymore. It's done. At my age, you've had so many resolutions and you've broken so many, it doesn't even matter. So during this holiday season and during Christmas with my family, I started thinking about this idea of more. This, this idea of always wanting more. And I don't know if it's something in our DNA, if it's something that we've learned over time, but it feels like we're always wanting more. And I'm not just talking about material things. I find myself doing it with just this channel. 6,000 subscribers blows my mind. We're at 6,000 subscribers now, over 6,000 subscribers, but it still just blows my mind. I was happy when we hit 5,000. You know, I we, we, every time we reach a new plateau on this channel, and I say we because you guys are involved in this community and you are the reason why this is happening and why I continue to make videos. But every time we reach a new level, I, I say to myself, you know what? I'm happy. I'm good with 5,000. And then you see those numbers start creeping up. And then I was good at 6,000. I was like, whoa, 6,000, that's amazing. And now we're at 6,300, I think, something like that. I'm like, man, if only I could get to 6,500, to 6,500 subscribers. And I know once I hit 6,500, then I'm gonna start looking at 7,000. And it's this idea of always wanting more. Now, yes, I would love to do this as a full-time job. I would love to have the time to really invest in working on editing and coming to, being able to make my ideas come to life. Um, but sadly, that's not the reality that I live in. So I'm just thankful for what I, I'm getting, but then I still find myself wanting more all the time. And we want more in our regular lives. Yes, back to material things. I had a student come up to me a couple weeks ago and was mentioning how they want Supreme, which is that super popular brand, and um, Gucci. And I was like, oh man, seriously, like, how about you be happy with like shooting for an A <laughs> in this class? But we're always looking for that next thing like myself i'm always looking for that next thing okay i really want an electric skateboard i'd love to have an electric skateboard to take to school it's not that far to my school i mean i've it, it's it's a good distance it's more than five miles but i would love to have an electric skateboard but i have a car and i should be thankful that i have a car but i find myself wanting an electric skateboard so any companies out there, I've been looking at all your boards. Halo, sick board. Inboard, you got lights. That's pretty sick. I have even was even looking at, I mean, Boosted, they're just really expensive. 
you know, I've been looking at all these different kinds of boards and I just find myself drooling over these skateboards and wanting that. And then we have a desktop PC, but I want a laptop. And I just, I don't know. I, we're always wanting more. And I feel like we need to adopt the philosophy of Mini Hulk. After, on Christmas day, after gifts were opened and we had been playing, Mini Hulk came up to us and he was like, I'm really happy about all the stuff. And he said, but he said something that was, that was, that really, really kind of like pierced my heart a little bit and made me feel guilty for the way that I feel all the time. And he said, you know, I really didn't get everything I wanted for Christmas, but I really like everything that I got. Oh my gosh. What lessons you can learn from kids and listening to children. Um, why aren't we happy with what we have? Why aren't we happy with what we have? So that right there leads into the resolutions. And I don't want to call them resolutions because I've broken, I've broken so many over the years. I want to call this part, like, as we go into 2018, in another four days, and January 1st hits, what's your plan? That's the way you should approach it. For me, that's the way I approach it, because resolutions are so easily broken. You see it all the time. I mean, when I had this little gym that used to be over here, not the little gym where kids go do like, you know, play on stuff, but I had a gym that was smaller that I used to go to all the time. And you would see it around New Year's, it would just get flooded with people. And that's when I would kind of back out. And then you you give it like a month and guaranteed the majority of those people were gone. Um, you see it all the time with resolutions. We make deals with ourselves and we break them constantly. So the real question I think we should ask ourselves this year, as conquistadors that are gonna go out and conquer the world for good, what is your plan? What is my plan? What is our plan? So what's your plan? What's your plan for 2018? Because I feel like when you have plans, you stick to them a little bit more. Just that phrasing, resolution or plan. Here is my plan. Here's what I'm going to do. A-Team always had that phrase. I love it when a plan comes together. When Hannibal with that big old cigar in his mouth, I love it when a plan comes together. But what's your plan? One of my plans is to be more content with what I have. I need to be more content with what I have. As I sit inside my house, I have a house. I have a truck that drives me to and from work. I have a healthy family. I should be content with that. There are people that would kill for that. And I am very, very lucky. But yet I look at it and I'm like, well, our house is a little small. I wish I could have a bigger house so I could have like my own little office slash recording space and the boys could have separate bedrooms and we could have a music room and you know, where we could jam all the time and stuff like that. And I'm like, why can't I just be happy with where I am? And yes, I know that sometimes that's a driving force to, 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 to push you towards more things, to bigger and better things. But sometimes we need to just sit where we are and be thankful for what we have. And so that's one of my plans this year is to be more content with what I have. Still strive to improve for greatness, to help out the environment with an electric skateboard. Any electric skateboard companies out there want to uh, donate to this small YouTuber? I'll rep your stuff all the time, 100%. Um, Plus, it's built-in advertising. Kids see me rolling up, they're like, who's that chubby bearded guy on the electric skateboard? I'm like, oh, this board that I got for free? Ha ha ha, it's amazing, and you should check it out, because, boom, these guys supported me. But what's your plan? Now, my new plan, another plan for this guy. And I'm saying, I said it before in a couple videos ago, but I'm gonna say it again. I gotta lose some weight. I'm having some back issues. My knees have always been shot. I have no cartilage in my knees from years of sports and college sports and the wear and tear of basketball and cross country and track and baseball and everything else that I used to play. And the doctor says, you know, for every pound you lose, it's four pounds of pressure off of your knees. Well, I also need to lose weight because of my back. And so 
my plan is to start exercising. I'm not gonna go all out. I'm not gonna go full Arnold, like right off the bat to where I can't move the next morning. Cause I know I will give up at that point. Know yourself when you're making these plans. These resolutions, resolutions. Um, I know myself and if I'm sore or whatever, I'm gonna be like, nah, I can skip a day. Or, and then it goes to two days and then it goes to three days. So that's one, that's another one. So plan number one, be more content with what I have. Work with what I got, okay? Plan number two, start exercising more. I'm not looking for dramatic weight loss at the moment. I will be eventually, but I'm just looking to get stronger and getting healthier. That is my plan. And little sub plan to that is stay away from chips. My biggest weakness, chips. It used to be gummy snacks. And I, I, I've really, really gotten away from the candy and the gummy snacks. Um, I used to love like gummy worms and Mike and Ikes and anything like that, chewy. And no, I've done a good job of cutting back on all of that this year. But now my big hurdle are chips. Because who doesn't love chips and salsa? Chips of any kind. It could be Doritos. I've moved away from Doritos. It's just plain old good old corn chips. I love corn chips. And then salsa. Oh, chips and salsa. And then take me to some Chipotle. I'm going to kill some guac. Oh, I love guacamole. But chips. I got to stay away from the chips as much. And we got a giant bag in our pantry right now. And it's just like calling my name. It's like Scotty. We are so salty and good. Which leads me to my next plan. I need to let go of some of my anger. I know, I, I, I'm i always like, hey, welcome, yeah. Man, there is a raging fire inside of me. And I need to let some of that stuff go. I really, really do need to let some of that stuff go. So, salty chips, salty Spaniard. Man, there are certain things that just set me off. If you've seen the new, the two of the new FBE React videos where we had to react to G-Eazy, he was also in the Do Parents Know Modern Music, so you should go check out those videos. Man, I went off. And I don't know what it was that set me off. The dude has never done anything to me but I feel like some of the music today is an assault on my senses and an assault on musicians, as far as like instrument, people that play instruments. And I take it personally and I shouldn't. Why, why do I take it personally? So I need to stop taking that stuff so personally. Now, yes, it is part of what makes me me and what gives my, you know, a, a differing opinion, but I also need to approach things differently. So. Let go of some of the salt in my attitude and approach things in a different manner. Because sometimes if it just sets me off right from the get-go, it's game on and I need, to, I need to relax. So what's your plan? What is your plan for this year? My plan, be content. Get healthy in some way, get healthier. I should say get healthier, not get fully healthy because that's gonna be a very long process and let go of some of the, the things I've been hanging on to. Stop being so salty about everything. It's a term the, the kiddos, the youngsters use, the salt. But I just need to let go of some of that rage because, man, it lashes out at random times. I really am kind of like early stages of Hulk when he couldn't control it. It's where many Hulk gets it from this guy right here. Because it's good to have competitive fire, but man, oh, geez. That's it. Just a quick one. The idea of more, want, of always wanting more. Are you always wanting more? Are you wanting stuff that isn't really necessary right now? Now, obviously, if it's something to help you, you know, get through and, and live, then yes, want more. But sometimes we need to be a little more content with what we have and stop like looking beyond and looking what ever, everybody else has and being like, you know what? Yeah, they may have all of that, but I'm pretty good with what I, where, I'm, where I am. You know, 
I would love to have more subscribers, of course. I'd love to have this as a career, yeah. But I'm thankful I got a job. You know, I, I, I get to go to work and I teach and I work with kids and I, that's what I love. And so, you know, I'm gonna be content with that. Do I have 6,000 subscribers versus other people that have hundreds of thousands? Yeah. And I'd love to have more, but you know what? Our community has grown small, has, has built itself up little by little, and I think that's what makes it a stronger community. This channel has a stronger foundation because of you guys, because of the, the few people that subscribe every once in a while. And you're like, you know what? I think I really like what this guy's doing. And maybe you subscribed and walked away. <laughs> that's okay, dude. Thank you <laughs> um, for not deleting the subscription. Um, and so the idea of wanting more and then how does that play into your plan for 2018? What's your plan? We're not going to say resolution. What's your plan? And every once in a while, we're going to check in, see how the plan's going. And I'll be one, I'm going to be honest. I will always be honest, as honest as I can be. With, have I been too salty recently? Has, has the rage monster, has the incredible Hulk within reared its ugly head? And was it a good thing or a bad thing? Have I been still like looking so far beyond that I continue to want more when I'm not happy with what I have? And how is my fitness? How, how are my fitness goals going for this year? Because I gotta change. I gotta change for myself and for my kids. So there we have it. There it is. Are we always wanting more? And do we really need to be wanting more all the time? Maybe we need to have that mini hope mentality where it's more of, you know, I don't have everything that I really want, but I'm happy with what I do have. And create a plan, a plan for the year, a plan that you can check off a list, your grocery list of things that you can get through. Start small. Don't go super huge. Start small and just start chipping away. Remember Conquistadors, to be a better person tomorrow than you were today. Because there's always room for improvement. Remember Conquistadors, to be a better person tomorrow than you were today. Because there is always room for improvement. Put that in your plan. And I'll see you next time on Round Like Me with Scotty. And that'll be on Sunday. We're gonna do a snacking on a Sunday, the last one of the holidays because this tree's gonna go away, all these decorations are gonna go away, and then 2018 begins. And we got a new plan for that, for our tunes on a Tuesday. It's gonna be fun, month of January, super fun. Um, gonna be mentioning some music maybe you've never heard of before. Uh, but, as always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking the video. And if you are gonna hit the, the down, the dislike button, tell me why. Don't just hit it and run away. Hit it and quit it, come on. If you're gonna punch it, freedom for your, of your opinion. But tell me why. Do you not like it? Do you just not, you, you may say, I don't like your stupid face. That's okay. Because I guarantee someone probably doesn't like yours. <laughs> Keep that in perspective. I'll see you next time. Be good people. Take care. Bye.